Hello, my name is Jesse Bland in Costa Rica. Um, I've come up with what I guess you could say is the world's easiest and quickest IQ test. And I believe sincerely in its accuracy, and I'm just going to show it to you. Uh, there are many of you who can do this yourselves. I invite you to try. If you want to know more about using the pendulum, which we're going to be doing, you can see some of my other videos. You might especially like the ones about U.S. presidential candidates and other things. Okay? But this is the world's quickest IQ test. And we're going to test several people. Okay? Uh, one of my favorites to test, I'm sorry I pick on him, but I have to, is George Bush. Okay? So, the way this works, uh, there are thousands of people on earth that can do this. I believe over 15,000 people now that can do this, is we just ask, okay? And you'll be surprised what the, what the answer is. Uh, as an example, and I'm, I'm not bragging, but as an example, I started testing my own IQ, and, and it's about 137 or so, okay? Uh, but that's not important. Uh, you can see it in another video. Okay, we're going to test George Bush's IQ. And to do that, we're going to connect with George Bush, the son, right? I imagine the dad was a little smarter. Okay, we have connection with him. The pendulum spins to the right and then stops. Okay, what is George Bush's IQ? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. I'll raise it up where you can see it better. 80, 85. When it's right on, it spins in a circle. When it goes past, in my case, it stops. It's, we're at 85 now, so it's spinning in an oval, and we'll just keep on spinning in an oval because we're not yet on the correct number. 86, 87, 88, 89. It's getting more circular. 90, 91, 92, 93. 94, George Bush's IQ of 94, 95. Okay, George Bush's IQ is 95. Okay, this is actually very accurate. Uh, another person alive today that people talk about who has the fame of being smart, at least he's a impressive guy, let's say, is uh, Stephen Hawkins, the, what is he, a astrophysicist or something like that. So let's connect with Stephen Hawkins and see his IQ. I have done this before, but I, I remember what he looks like. Okay, we well, stopped, so we now, Stephen Hawkins IQ, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, already passed George Bush and not even moving, 100, 105, it's moving a little, 110, 115, 120, 125, 130, 135, 36, 37, 38, quite a ways to go yet. 39, 40, 41, 42, 140 is genius. 43, 144, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 151, 52, 53, 54, 55, 156. A perfect circle is the correct answer. 156, 157, 158, 159, 160, 161. That looks like a perfect circle, 161, 162, and it's going to stop. Stephen Hawkins IQ, 161, okay? I wanted to include somebody relatively normal. This is my mom, okay? My mom's IQ. I'm going to say a year ago. Oh, now I'll tell you why. My mom's IQ a year ago. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 105, 110, 115, 116, 117, 118, 119, 120, 121, 122, 123, 124, 125, 126, 127, it's almost a circle, 128, 129, still turning, 130, it's going to stop, 129, my mom, it's interesting, she died in February, so this was a year ago, 
Okay. Okay, that shows that we can go back in time. But before we go back in time, I want to show you some person. I'm here in Costa Rica, and somebody told me that Jose Maria Figueres Olson, the, who was one of the presidents of Costa Rica, is super smart. In fact, I met his dad. He was the first person I met in Costa Rica in 1974. He came on the plane with me. So, hi to Jose Maria. I don't know you personally, but I met your dad, and your dad was a good guy. Okay. But we hear you're real smart, so let's test. Jose Maria Figueres Olson, ex-president of Costa Rica. IQ, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 170, 180. 190, 191, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 200, 201, 202, almost a perfect circle, 203, it's still turning, I think that's it, 204, okay, Jose Maria Figueres, 203, smart guy, use it for the good of your country and of the world, okay? Now, we can do this with anybody who's alive, if we connect with them, but I wanted to go back in time because this, is, this gets really interesting, okay? We're going to go back, um, he may not have been a terribly smart guy, but he was an important guy. We're going to check Abraham Lincoln, the President of the United States. Knowing that he was somebody important, I can have a connection because there was only one Abraham Lincoln who was President of the United States. Okay, so we connect to Abraham Lincoln. We have the connection with Abraham Lincoln. If you want to say we went back in time. His IQ. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110. He's a smart guy. 115, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 123, 124, 125, 126, 127, 128. 129, still turning, 129, 129, it was stopped at 129, so it was 128, okay? Now, going back in time, I think it was Bill Clinton that said one time when he had some Nobel Prize winners eating at the White House, that there were more brains, more intelligence in the White House at that time than any time since when Thomas Jefferson ate by himself. So... Thomas Jefferson must have been a pretty smart guy. Let's check Thomas Jefferson's IQ. Okay, Thomas Jefferson. Connect to Thomas Jefferson. Okay, his IQ. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. That's 170, right? 180, 190, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 199, 200, 201, 202, 203, 204, 205, 206, 207, 207, 208, I'm going to stop, 207, Thomas Jefferson, smart guy, okay? The father of our country, or ex-country in my case, until things change, then I might adopt it again. Uh, George Washington. Let's connect to George Washington. I'm doing this back in time. You can do it to people on Earth now, right? And you don't have to give them a paper test, or even be close to them. Okay, George Washington. His IQ. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 139, 140, 41, 42, he was a genius, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 147, 148, 147, genius is 140, so 147. Very smart guy. Okay. 
But when we think of smart guys, don't we think of Leonardo da Vinci? Yes. And I also think of Michelangelo, the two great Italian artists who gave so much to the world. And I was kind of wondering which one was actually smarter. They were intelligent in different ways, I assume. So let's do Leonardo da Vinci's IQ. We connect to Leonardo da Vinci. Anybody who doesn't believe in quantum physics, I hope this helps convince you <laughs> that there is connections and things that are not explained by standard science. Okay, we are now connected to Leonardo da Vinci. I could ask all kinds of things about him now, but right now we're going to ask his IQ. Okay. IQ, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 190, 191, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 200, 201, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 229, 230, 231, 23, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, I think that was 239, 240, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, that's 250, 251, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 259, 260, it's real close, 261, 2, 3, 264, 265, 266, 67, 68, 269, it's actually going to stop at 269, 268, Leonardo da Vinci's IQ, okay? It's going to be hard for Michelangelo to beat him, 268, let's check. Michelangelo, the great artist, less inventor, maybe a greater artist. Connect with Michelangelo. Okay, Michelangelo's IQ. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 20, 30, 40. Give it some time to react. 140, 145, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 160, 161, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 168, 169, 170, 171, 72, 172, it's keep going, but I don't think it's going to make 173, 172, 173, 172, Leonardo beat him in IQ. Okay, think of another great world leader. I picked three more here, and let's go to... Alexander the Great. Alexander the Great. Connect to Alexander the Great. Okay. As you might guess, this is kind of fun. I enjoy doing these strange things. Okay, Alexander the Great's IQ. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 20, 30, 40, 50. Okay, I'll, I'll let it catch up. We're at 150. It's catching up, but it's not going to stop, so we haven't gone past. 150, 51, 52, 53, 154, 154, 155. going to stop. 154, Alexander the Great. Great guy. Okay, he actually conquered, as I understand, pretty peacefully. He did not enslave his the, company, the places he conquered nearly as bad as a lot of others. Okay, somebody who's supposed to be really smart, and I've never tested him before, I just thought of him actually, um, was King Solomon in the Bible. So, let's connect to King Solomon. Okay, we have the connection to King Solomon. The IQ of King Solomon. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60
10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 20, 30, give it time, 130, 140, 150, 160, 165, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 181, 182, almost perfect circle, 183, still going, 184, that's going to stop, 183, another smart guy, okay, now we, I just think of somebody going way, way back, and I don't think he's that smart, but it's somebody that we recognize and we know who he is, and this is going to be my last one, I, I can't, uh, I'm not going to try to go back to Adam or Eve. Uh, let's go back to King Tutankhamen. Okay? I'm not even sure when he lived, but uh, it was a long time ago. Okay? And we know that he existed. King Tut. Connect with King Tut. I don't know that he was especially smart. Okay? We now have the connection with King Tut. What was King Tut's IQ? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 106 going pretty good, 107, it's barely going to stop at 107, 106. King Tut's IQ is 106. Okay. World's easiest IQ test. It works. Try it.